Kulsan Kola. Namaste, good morning to all respected online viewers. Long live their majesties, long live our leaders and long live our friendship. Welcome to this online yoga workshop embassy of India, Thimpu ICCR, Nehru Wangchu Culture Center, yoga teacher and KV SSN Muthi here. My sincere prayers to the Almighty to see all the best things to their majesties in the whole Gota. Uh, so coming to the today's practice session, so it is also starting with our regular sun salutations. After that we have uh, Chait Yoga. So coming to the practice session, sun salutations. So here we have chantings and recitations. Uh, if you have belief system in the chantings, you can follow or you can follow only uh, physical exercise. Part. So extend the arms to the sides, lift the arms up about to the head called Kailash Mudra and very slowly bring your Kailash Mudra at your chest level called Anahata Pranamasam. If possible, try to be in the prideful mood throughout the session. Om Hirin Mayena Patrena Satyasya Pihitam Mukham Tatvam Poshan Apabruno Satya Dharmaya Drustaye Om Ram Hrim Hrum Hrim Hrom Raha Mitra Rabisurya Bhanu Kagapushna Hiranya Gadbha Maricha Aditya Savitra Arka Bhaskaraya Namaha And coming to second yoga pose called Hasta Uttanasana So here once completely pull and slightly put a back bend called Ardha Chakra or Ardha Chandrasana Again come back to Unnamal When you have health related issues related to forward bends Avoid all level forward bends even in your regular household work So Coming to the next posture called Pada Hasta Asan or standing forward bending posture, head to foot posture. Press your body completely down inside and touch your right leg back as back leg called horse riding stance. Aswa Sanchalan Asan, press your abdomen and as well as push your body forward and down. Very simple exercise for leg stretching, pelvic stretching and for abdominal organ health, especially for thyroid health. And now coming to the anti-gravity pose called Dandasan or Santula Nasan. So push your leg forward leg also back and few seconds stable in this posture. When you have severe spinal cord issues, avoid this kind of anti-gravity training. Uh, but this is a good posture to tone the total abdominal structure. And next uh, resting posture for the lower back is Ashtanga Namaskar Asan or 8 limbs posture and few seconds uh, stable in this pose. And push your body forward, lift the body like a sea wave called Bujangasan or lifted head cobra posture. And also this is a uh, one of the yoga therapeutical pose to manage uh, lower back complaints and the uh, neck complaints. All right, coming to again uh, another semi inverted pose, uh, pose as well as semi uh, forward bend pose as well as uh, like a semi anti gravity pose called mountain pose or Parvatasan. Take care while doing this kind of training and also. This will come under uh, as a first priority posture to the head stance. Then coming to right leg forward called Aswa Sanchalanasan, horse riding stance. Right, back leg straight on the toes, back leg knee up, join the back leg to forward leg called Pada Hastasan. Once completely press your body down and lift your arms and body at a time up called Hasta Uttanasan. Again, once completely raise up and slight up medium back bending. Then get back to normal pranamasan above to the head. Again, slowly keep your pranamasan at your chest level. Anahata pranamasan. Right, with the breath coordination, lift the arms up, wide the hands, and slowly get back to normal. Few seconds relax. After that, we have chair yoga. According to your body weight, you can choose two chairs or uh, even one chair also enough. But take care while doing this chair yoga. So, in fact, this is very simple and effective and also useful session uh, office for the office goers and house makers and also for the people who are into the sports and games. So, first of all, sit properly. So here we have uh, like a very simple activity called leg stretching. Uttita Hasta Padangustasan or raised hand to Vipto posture. So we can do while in the sitting as well as we can do in the standing also. But here I am demonstrating two variations. So first of all, try to get back to the chair's backrest and open your right leg or left leg forward. Alright, keep your back straight. Now try to open your one hand, that's the same side hand forward. Try to catch your toes and few seconds is stable. And very simple but very effective exercise for the leg stretching, leg stretching especially when you are 
uh, doing this kind of exercises on the chair, your body very totally carried by your chair and slowly get back. And opposite side, same thing, lift the leg and catch the toes with the same side hand and stable now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and relaxation, get back. So here we have a slightly improved variation. Uh, stand accordingly, then try to keep your chest in front of you. That chest backrest must be point towards your body. Same exercise here. Keep your left leg forward, right leg back, and put your forward leg on the chest. And now observe it carefully. So stretch your same side hand on the on the on the leg, and few seconds is stable. So here also you are uh, like especially uh, this is a balancing. Uh, but when you have chair help, your leg weight will be carried by your chair. In few seconds table, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and right. Then slowly leave your uh, arm and keep your leg out. In few seconds break. Then same exercise, opposite side. So here in this exercise, yes, result will be same but you will feel like doing because uh, it is very easy and very simple while doing this kind of exercises with the help of props. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and rise. Get back to normal. Keep your leg out. Again, two seconds break. And while using the chair, we have uh, many other exercises also which can be performed very easily. So one of them uh, uh, is Ardha Chandrasan or half moon posture. So first turn towards your left side, open your right leg as back leg, lift your back leg here and try to see your alignment must be perfect. So don't leave the chair totally. So almost like you, you should uh, you should be on the chair only but take care while doing this kind of exercises. Okay, now lift your both the arms up. So back leg still properly adjust and lift you over both the arms and few seconds bend the body back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and rise. Get back to normal and very slowly down the arms. All right. Both the legs together and few seconds break. So here in these exercises results will be same kind. Uh, participants will get good back bend and also particip will, uh, participants will get good leg stretching and pelvic stretching. Uh, but the way how you are organizing the body weight is very important while doing the prop yoga. Then same exercise at the Chandrasan opposite side to strengthen the uh, legs and thighs as well as to strengthening the above back to lower back chair exercises are very simple and easy. So right now coming to align and lift your both the arms up. Then slowly get a back bend again few seconds is stable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and rise. Get back to normal and very slowly down the hands. Relax your arm and few seconds break. So in this row of activity, our next yoga pose called Akarna Dhanurasan and uh, bow and arrow poster. So yesterday also we have performed this poster while doing the uh, stick support. So while doing the chair yoga, it is more simple and more useful. So get back to the chair's backrest. Fold your right leg vertical on the chair. But please remember when you have any health related compli uh, like a complications uh, or especially knee related or thigh related uh, ill health, avoid this kind of training. So uh, lift your above leg up with the same side hand. Adjust your body to pull the leg back. Again, few seconds is stable now. One, two, so you can add remaining hand also. And now try to pull the leg completely back and try to put your toes uh, like uh, uh, just next to your ear or you can touch your ear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and right. Down the leg again, two seconds break and keep your leg out and relax your leg. So here, idea behind our Karna Dhanurasan is thigh stretching and leg stretching and the pelvic opener and also for the hip gradual stretch. So you can do in a better way while doing this exercise uh, if you will be using a chair. Then opposite side, the same thing, bow and arrow posture, especially for leg stretching. So here, accordingly adjust your uh, body. Keep your alternate leg on the chair. Then try to lift your above leg up with the same side hand and pull the leg back and with the upper
opposite side arm support also few seconds press your leg back so here you can put your knee closer to the chest back rest so that your stretching will be fruitful and you will you will not get over strain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 and relax your both legs and few seconds break so in this same row of activity we have paschimottanasan uh, other variation or uh, declined legs paschimottanasan or declined legs a uh, back stretched posture so adho mukha adho mukha pada or uh, paschimottanasan so here Uh, all we need to do is just come forward on the chair forward edge open your both the legs forward and see your back must be straight so when you have lower back or spinal cord complaints or heart troubles or high blood pressure issues don't attend this kind of forward bends okay now here lift your both the arms up then very slowly bend the body forward and here try to keep your both the arms on the knees in the beginning so when you are totally okay in this angle then slowly further move your body down put your hands on the ground then still you can place your both the hands on the uh, on the on the ground try to press your abdomen down keep your head closer to the knees or on the knees and stable now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and right lift your chin and head and slowly get back to normal and two seconds break so in this uh, particular angles like a uh, people will uh, feel people will get a kind of a good stretch from the hamstring muscle to legs and also good stretch for the above back and also it is a good abdominal pressing pose right then slowly keep your legs back and adjust your body and few seconds relax then after that our regular back bend called artha chakrasan so here sitting artha chakrasan is a very simple half wheel posture in the sitting stance hold your chest back rest from the sides all right now keep elevate your chest and wide your rib cage lift your chin and few seconds put a pause and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and all right get back to normal and slowly lift the arms relax your arms and back and without leaving the chair we can do uh, lots of advanced postures and also we can do simple postures in advanced way the approach is a totally different while using this this kind of chairs our next pose is called viparita virabhadrasan or reverse warrior posture so with the stick also yesterday we have performed that but today also we are practicing this with the help of the chair so right this time try to keep your legs proper distance and keep open your uh, right leg properly out of the chair keep your foot flat then this time keep your right arm down on the right thigh then slowly drag the hand from thigh level to four four leg level alternate hand up then towards your open leg side completely keep a bend and stay now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and right stand and get back to normal wide your hands slowly out All right, few seconds break. Then opposite side, same thing. Then readjust your both the legs and first recheck your breath and convenience. And after that, keep touch your left leg to the left side. Keep your foot flat. Then adjust your second leg also properly. Then put your uh, leg open leg side hand on the thigh and knee. Lift your folded leg sides hand up. towards your open leg side give a maximum bend and stay now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and right 10 get back to normal and wide the hands and slowly turn out down all right both the legs together and few seconds break
and coming to next poster called uh, Mandu Kasan or Frog Pose. And while doing this chair, it's very simple and useful. First, slightly adjust your bodies and keep your both the legs together. So when you have high blood pressure or heart complaints or any other elements related to face and head, avoid this kind of training. Now close your uh, fist with thumb outside. Keep that two knots around your navel case and lower abdomen. Alright, completely uh, like stretch your body from there very slowly press your abdomen and try to give that sensitive pressure at the abdomen level. So try to press your body down and few seconds is stable. And then finally lift your chin and head and get back to now. So especially this kind of practice is good for the people who are having abdominal complaints related to diabetes or liver or constipation or any other intestinal issues. So very simple but continuity will bring more positive changes. Alright, for this also we need to do one simple back bend. So here just interlock your fingers back of the uh, head. Try to keep wide your elbows and keep wide your ribcage and few seconds keep a pose. So here instead of keeping your both the hands back of the head, you can put your hands on the forehead also when you want more back bend. One, two, three, four and relax your back and few seconds release. And coming to next activity, Shalabhasan or Locust Poster. Next one is Kandarasan Bridge Poster. And last poster will be again back painting called Chakrasan. I am requesting my video technician to slightly change the camera angle. So especially for these poses, when you have health related issues, try to take advice from your physician and as well as yoga teacher before starting these practices. Okay, coming to the... Uh, crocodile resting posture out Makarasan, just wide the legs, keep your both the arms together, put your uh, right cheek or left cheek on the palms and few seconds relax for a while. Right, after that both the arms and legs together, coming to Samasthiti or pre-position. So now we are practicing locust posture or Salabhasan. And also good for the lower back strengthening and also good for the people who are uh, having blood circulation issues, especially in the legs and veins. So now keep your one leg up and put your one leg on the chair and few seconds pose like half locus or ardha salabhasan or ekha pada salabhasan. So here, when you have a tough time while doing these exercises, when you have a tough time at the neck level, you can keep your forehead also on the ground. Alright, slowly get back to normal and after checking your breath convenience and opposite side leg also should come on the top of the chair. Then try to stretch your leg back. Again, few seconds is stable now. So be, uh, be very convenient at the head level. You can keep your chin or forehead or you can keep your cheek also on the ground. But be very convenient whatever po uh, like post, uh, uh, pose for the head you have chosen. One, two, three, four, five. Six and right, then get back to normal position. Right, in this same angle, you can create two legs also. Two legs must come on the top of the chair. Then slowly lift your thighs up and put your legs at the 45 degree angle and stable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and right get back to normal and relax your arms and legs again few seconds rest your neck especially in these kind of exercises participants uh, might have noticed a kind of neck rigidness so uh, like to to create some kind of activity at the neck we need to do one counter pose or one kind of forward bending also but i will perform after this activity then coming to again normal in the same locus so we have some of the advanced variation called uh, like 90 degree angle a leg lifted locust poster so here choose a chair as a supporter so lift your back up try to lift your one leg more up and stable now one two three four five six seven and right get back to normal 
then soon after that opposite side same thing with the use of the chair and alternate leg lift your remaining leg try to put it to the 90 degree angle and stay now one two three four five six seven and right get back to normal then finally relax your both the legs and few seconds coming to the strength free and both the arms together that should come under the cheek rest your neck for a while take a deep long inhalation so here just coming to the next exercise called one of the other uh, related poster to the makarasan or crocodile poster few seconds stay this is also called as nira lambasan or uh, like we, we can also stand as elbow stance pose then after creating small relaxation at the above back and at the neck level and get back to normal so our next yoga pose called kandarasan or shoulder pose and in many textbooks it is also called as bridge posture but the way how we are doing is very important so coming to shavasan first from here slowly both the arms and legs together then fold your two legs then you can lock your both the ankles as a first priority or you can keep your both the hands on the ground at the thighs or still you can interlock your hands under the hips so anyhow try to lift your body carry your body weight on your shoulders don't give any weight on the neck so few seconds is stable now one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10 and this is our regular kandarasan and once relax your arms and legs all right both the legs stretch on the ground under the chair then here set your body slightly push your body down under the chair then this time we are doing same practice in a different level so try to put your both the legs on the chair and we are practicing same kandarasan here then after that try to lift your total body up and turn your both the shoulders back and stable so here you can keep your both the fist uh, under your hips or you can catch your both the hands under the hips you can turn them or still you can slightly keep your hands on the ground but choose your uh, like sh uh, your body weight should come on your shoulders rather than your neck one two three four and all right then very slowly get back to normal position and few seconds relaxation enough so once keep your legs out and take a deep inhalation exhalation and our last activity uh, is chakrasan or wheel poster as i mentioned before also it is better to choose one back bending before end of your session Right, both the legs and hands together so participants can choose regular chakrasan or they can still use chakrasan while using the chairs Ch uh, while using the chair it is so easy and also it will give more uh, stretching on the lower back to body so try to take care while doing these exercises so once open your both the legs on the chair then try to put your both the arms as in chakrasan hand position turn your fingers inside and keep your both the palms uh, uh, like down on the ground all right now try to lift the total body up then stable now and try to keep your both the legs stretched further on the chair or you can put your chair at the exactly bottom part of the chair and stable one two three four five six seven eight nine and then with the arm support slowly drag the head down further lift your head keep your head on the ground and put your above back to below back on the ground and slowly rest your both the hands then soon after that you can immediately choose this kind of simple activity called uttana padasan or lifted legs poster so every day evening uh, after finishing your household works try to do this simple activity it will relax your legs especially it will relax the uh, veins uh, which will carry the impure blood from the legs level to heart level so it is also a preventive poster uh, for, uh, for the uh, varicose veins then finally keep your legs together and slowly keep your legs out 
Then after that, towards your right side or left side, slowly turn and put your remaining hand in front of the chest. Then very slowly get rise and get back to normal position. I will soon offer you all physical activity. It is advised to you at least 5 minutes time to uh, recover. And in that recover time, you can still like uh, uh, do some of the post stretches for the especially neck and head and for the shoulders and especially for the people who are having traditional mindset to go for chantings uh, like they can use that uh, meantime to drink a sip of water it is also good to do uh, for the mantra chanting so now try to come to the any convenient yoga pose lotus or half lotus or any convenient pose you can choose any good surface keep your back straight so in these exercises, we have uh, Kapala Bhati training, then after that Brahmari Pranayam, Humming Bee, bee, humming bee Breath. Uh, next one is Bhairava Mudra, one of the important practice for the uh, further concentration levels. So coming to the uh, chantings of uh, mantras, so here keep your both the palms together and Om Kesavaya Swaha Om Madhavaya Swaha Om Narayanaya Swaha Om Adya Samadhi Tatpala Siddhyadham Asana Purvakan Pranayama Deen Karishye Om Sand Sand Sandhi so in other words, it is saying that the yoga practices purpose is not only maintaining physical health, like it, 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 it has a definite goal called spiritual upliftment. So till the uh, spiritual upliftment, till we reach spiritual upliftment, we have to be cared about the physical body health and uh, health for the mind and also for social upliftment. So when people will do this yoga activity in proper way under the good guidance, they can easily uh, get the successful states of uh, healthy physical health and mental health and social health and further spiritual health. But the way how we are doing very important. So coming to the practice session, Kapala Bhati is a practice frontal brain cleaning technique uh, and also it is a uh, rapid breath. It is a kind of kriya or cleaning technique. Uh, especially in the uh, like uh, Hatha Yoga textbooks, it is saying that Vastrava Lohva Karasya Recha Pura Sasam Brahma Kapala Bhatir Vikyata Kapa Dosha Bisoshini. Flum level disorders will be totally eradicated through the proper practices of Kapala Bhati. Uh, but the people who, who are having high blood pressure or ear problems or any other health related complications do not immediately pick up this kind of rapid breath. And next one is called Brahmari Pranayam or Humming Bee Breath. So here also it is a kind of saying in the uh, Hatha Yoga books called Vagad Gosham, Gosham Purakam uh, Brunga Nadam Brungi Nadam Rechanam Manda Mandam uh, Yogi Indra Naam Eva Mabhyasa Yoga Chitte Jataka Chidananda Leela. So this kind of activity will definitely induces the awareness inward and also the special way of resonance or vibration what we are creating in the Humming Bee sound. Uh, this sound also good for the blood circulation inside the facial organs and it will create a soothing sensation which will affect on the mind and the nervous system and it will release the overloaded stress and also cerebral tensions and it is also one of the good activity for the people who are having repeated anxieties and uh, insomnia. Uh, and please remember, uh, like participants can pick up this activity, Brahmari Pranayam before your sleeping time also but take good advice from your uh, yoga teacher who are having knowledge on the medical sciences. And also it will strengthen the voice and the pitch and also it will improve the healing capacity especially for the people who are in the music fields, especially singing fields, for them Brahmari is a very important activity. So coming to the practice session here, they have mentioned called Brunga Nadam and Brungi Nadam, like female bee and male bee. So as a dialect, it is also saying that Bruga Nadam and Brugi Nadam or Brusga Nadam and Brusgi Nadam. So here uh, we can understand that Brunga and Brungi means male and female. Uh, like uh, while creating sound in the inhalation, that is a male. While creating sound in the exhalation, that is a female. So creating sound in the inhalation uh, may develop a kind of complications around your throat level or, uh, or kind of uh, uh, your participants may develop a cough or uh, kind of tight breath or choking sensation so initially don't pick up that sound while inhalation try to choose simple way of activity so
so uh, because of online beginners i am doing this very simple activity i am creating sound in the exhalation only but before that let us finish our kapalabhati practice so keep your back straight and sharp exhalation sharp exhalation slow inhalation then 30 strokes in a single go we are doing starts now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 last 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 after Kapalabhati or rapid breath like uh, Basriga, uh, take a small break to listen or to have that <coughs> state of mind or state of practice called Kavala Kumbhaka or isolated breath retention. Where participants don't require breath in and breath outs also, this state, uh, this state of mind be uh, st uh, this state of mind will be stable for only 10 seconds to 15 seconds only. Then after that, coming to Brahmari Pranayam, when participants having uh, like uh, ear drum problems or any other mental related issues, uh, don't immediately pick up this kind of activity. So here, practicing session is very simple, first complete breathing and while breathe out, close your ears and chant the sound of Makar without open the mouth. Mm -hmm. After your breath, in few seconds, close your ears to hear that internal voice or internal nada. And this kind of sound practice also called as nada anusandan, a very good practices for the meditation. Right. Finally, put your arms down and take a relaxation breath. So before end of our session, we have mudra abhyas called Bhairava mudra. Right hand should top and left hand should down. So this is also called as uh, gesture of higher intensity or intensity of uh, higher awareness. So basically this is a kind of practices for the concentration or for meditation. And also this is the significance right side energy and left side energy or ida and pingala energies comes together to uh, give some kind of sensation. Uh, towards the mind, so it will fix the mind into the deeper concentration states. Then slowly withdraw from your all practices after finishing your yoga activity and immediately after finishing your yoga schedule. So it is also uh, advised to you 5 minutes time to take extra relaxation in the form of uh, yoga nidra or in the form of power nap or in the form of uh, mode of silence. Especially this is for regenerate the body. And soon after your total yoga schedule try to give at least 15 minutes time to half an hour time to take bath and further 15 minutes at least 10 minutes time to take breakfast this timings totally depend on your individual capa uh, capacities and the style of their activities in the afternoon as a first priority try to see all possibilities 
ट्राई टू डू ए पवर नैप और योग निद्रा और जस्ट मोड ऑफ साइलेंस बिफोर यूर लंच अवर एज ए फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी बिफोर यूर लंच अवर एज ए सेकेंड प्रायोरिटी यू कैन डू दिस सेम एक्टिविटी ऑफ यूर लंच ऑल्सो फॉर बेटर क्रिएटिव पावर फॉर बेटर डिसीशन मेकिंग एंड फॉर बेटर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड फोकस लेवल्स एंड ऑल टूगेदर टू बेटर प्रोडक्टिविटी फ्रॉम यू दिस काइंड ऑफ आफ्टरनून रेस्टिंग टेक्निक्स में भी हेल्पफुल इन द इवनिंग्स वंस यू विल बी टोटली फ्री फ्रॉम यूर एक्टिविटीज एंड अफेयर्स एंड यूर वर्क बिफोर यूर डिनर टाइम ट्राई टू सी एटलीस्ट हाफ एन आवर सेल्फ योगा प्रैक्टिस विच विल इन्वॉल्व बैक बेंडिंग्स लेग स्ट्रेचिंग्स इन्वर्शन प्रैक्टिस and the strength training techniques in the last we can adopt this short time sleep technique also uh, basically in the evenings uh, physical bodies are so flexible than the morning so try to take that advantage from, uh, in the evenings so thanking you all to giving me this wonderful opportunity uh, stay away from the bad habits but do yoga also tomorrow when we have uh, yoga class here with the same uh, at the same time the same content we will see still more good yoga exercises until then take care of yourself